All right, folks, we need to have a serious conversation about drugs. Yeah, I lived through the Just Say No campaign. I've watched friends overdose from drugs. I've watched friends struggle from drugs. And the way that it's perceived in the public has always been the same. If we just could have kept it away from them, they would still be alive. I'm not understanding how we can go through this so many times and still keep the same narrative when it's wrong over and over and over again. The plant that grows out of the ground that turns into marijuana, cocaine, or any other drug you can think of, I'm just talking about the ones that are illegal right now, is no more dangerous than the plant that grows out of the ground that turns into, that gives you roses and fruits and so on. Now, we can sit there and talk about the biological effects comparing the two, but we also need to talk about the things that was going on in that person's life that led them to abuse. It's not simply that so-and-so decided to take these drugs. Why can't we talk about all the other stuff going on in that person's life and have a full conversation so that when the next person gets addicted, we can combat it differently? Instead of doing this, we just simply call them a junkie. We call them a drug addict. We throw them into rehab, expecting them to come out and be a different person. Like the problems that caused them to become addicts aren't still there. Now, the stuff that they do in treatment is amazing because they do all the right stuff in treatment. But the problem is the societal perception when they get out because they're not in that little cocoon where they're getting therapy all day long and they're getting help. They're just throwing out society and society's looking down on them. Oh, he's a junkie. He threw his life away. How could he use drugs? But we need to get to the point to understanding that it's not the drugs. It's the trauma that the person went through that led them to become an addict. I understand this is a thinking exercise. You have to get past the black and white thinking that led to this. And you also have to understand that just because a drug is illegal or legal doesn't mean that it still can't cause you harm. You got sugar addiction. We got an obesity rate through the roof. Tobacco's legal. Alcohol's legal. And those are all those things are just as addictive, but we don't talk about that because there's not a law slapped on to sugar. You're not thrown in jail if you're caught with a certain amount of sugar. Therefore, it's acceptable to be addicted to caffeine. It's acceptable to drink on a daily basis to have like a certain amount of alcohol every day. We say, well, you're only having so much a day, so you're okay. But the minute you go past that limit, you're an alcoholic. You need to go to rehab. You need to fix yourself. Instead of saying, hey, what's going on in your life? What's wrong? I mean, this short-sighted thinking goes into so many other things in life. When we talk about homelessness, we just simply throw them to the side and we see, and, and we say things like, oh, well, he ruined his life. I don't feel sorry for him. He should have worked harder. He should have made better decisions. We, we don't talk about the trauma that led that the spiral to them to get to that point. Communication, empathy. These are all things that we are born with. This is the reason why little kids want to share toys. We didn't teach them to share. It's just simple. They're like, they share. It, it's in us. It's not 
in us to be cold and angry and hateful and to simply look at somebody and to come up with a story in our head about who they are and not communicate with them to find out about their life before we judge them. We put up all these hurdles in life that we think that someone should be somewhere. And when it comes back to us, we get depressed and we fall in a hole that we haven't reached these goals. I'm doing this video simply for you to think. I'm not going to sit there and tell you that you should think that all drugs should be legal. They should be controlled. 100% agree with that. But we can't place it all on the drugs. We need better mental health. We need better access to mental health. Everybody, I think everybody on this planet needs therapy. We need to do something. Let's let all these things boil up inside of us. And then it, then we project it on other people. This is the beginning of the conversation. I can sit here for an hour and go through all these scenarios. But I just wanted something to start the conversation. So that when you have someone in your life going through these things, understand that it's not the drugs. It's everything else going on in their life. It's the traumas they don't talk to you about. That they won't open up to you about because they don't want to be judged. We can't keep living our lives in separate tribes. We can't sit there. We can't judge people without actually hearing their story. We can't just throw labels on them. Um, junky, homeless, worthless, angry sad, depressed. This is the start of our healing as a world, not even as a nation, as a world. We can't heal until we know what the problem was. The problem is. The problem isn't drugs. The problem is all the stuff that leads to someone getting addicted to drugs. It's the sad truth that we won't face and we ignore and we run around and make excuses for the drug war is a failure because we, because it didn't address these things. We made it into a war where we attack, destroy, kick down doors, throw drugs on the table. That hasn't done anything. Let's try something different, America. My name is Kyle Finney King. Thank you for attending my Jeep chat.